Hi and welcome to Lacey Bow's Boutique. This is a tutorial by request for a karate girl. And um, I'm going to have to do it with the wood background because working with all the white, if I do it on the white background, it probably won't show up very well. But this is what you're going to need. You're going to need 3 8 inch grow green ribbon and you'll need one 3 inch piece and this will be for the head and the neck so you're going to want to make it in a flesh tone any flesh tone will do from light peach to a darker tone okay then um, for the hair you're going to need one two and a half inch piece in whatever color you want the hair to be and one two inch piece for the hair then for the arms you'll need a two and a half inch piece just one of them this is going to need to be white because it's the karate robe thing I think it's called a gi okay and then for the legs you'll need two one and a quarter inch pieces all right and then for the um, the robe the body part of the robe you'll need a piece of seven eighths inch grow grain ribbon you're gonna need one one inch piece in white all right then you're gonna need one long piece of one eighth inch ribbon in the color whatever the belt you want to get and if you don't have one eighth you can just take whatever size you have and cut the edge off and then heat seal the edge to make yourself a piece. Just you're just going to make it pliable enough to bend and tie into a knot like that. Okay, and then you'll need some flesh tone scraps for the hands and the feet to make it. And if you like my videos, maybe you'll gofundme.com backslash Lacey and Roy help me take my man on a honeymoon. We're getting married May the 30th and he's done so much for me and all the bad times I've had that I want to take him on a nice honeymoon but not necessary and I'm sorry if it's tacky to ask but I just always thought I'd throw it out there but anyway my tutorials will always be free this is your list so just get started you're gonna of course need a hot glue gun to heat and um, you're gonna need the lighter to heat seal the edges same story with every tutorial hope it comes out okay with this wood background. just cannot use white for this particular one. And a pair of tweezers will be helpful at some point. And you will see why. So let me get in here. Okay. Now let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is make the head. Now bear with me because I've never done a tutorial with a humanoid shaped character before so you may I may stumble upon my, uh, over myself here a little bit but um, we'll make it so you're gonna take your flesh tone piece and this is actually too long for what you need but it's always better to have too much than too little so you're gonna want to roll this into a circle for the head so however big you want the head to be you can just roll this in a circle looks like my ribbons rolling itself that way okay figure out how much how big a head you want. So you're going to put the glue back here on the back side. Just put a little bit along that edge right there. And then grab it with your tweezers or your fingers and roll it over. Make sure it's even on both sides. And just make yourself a loop. And that's going to be your head. So you just made a loop like that. Let's focus. It seems to be. So you just made a loop. All right. Now that you've got that done, let's see what should we do next. Let's work on the hair. Okay. So you're going to take the long piece, the um, two and a half inch piece, and cut an angle on it to make some bangs. Just cut it off at an angle like that. Alright, and you don't forget to heat seal that edge. Then you're going to want to figure out where you want to stick it and glue it right on there, up on the top to make some bangs. And I recommend just putting a little bit of glue at an angle like that and then fitting it in place. And we're not gluing it over the top of the entire head yet. In fact, we're not even going to do that. We're just going to make some bangs here. Instead of mushing your loop, just take your tweezers in the side and push it down. Okay, now leave that tail sticking up like that because we got to make this 
top part right here. So just make an awareness loop with your um, two inch piece. You just fold it around like that and make yourself a little awareness loop like that. Make sure that the hole at the top is big enough for that um, this ribbon to pass through. And so, so you might want to just you know make it end to end like that, not the loopy, but fold it all the way around. Put some glue in there like that. Get rid of your glue strings. All right, now that you've made that, you can turn it this way and pass this top of the hair right through there and set it right down on top of the head like a hat. Okay, and once you get that on there like that, just glue it in the back right there. And do all this without mushing your little circle head. But you can always fluff it back out. Okay, now your little bangs are still sticking out. And then to make the ponytail part, just take this and fold it backwards at an angle as close to the head as you can. And give it a crease. Makes a little ponytail right in the top. And when you give it a crease, then open it back up and put a little bit of glue on that crease you just made. And just stick it down so that it holds. And you can cut this ponytail off to however long you want. I'm going to leave it out here like this for right now until we glue the um, arms on. And then we'll see how she's going to look. So now you've got the head and the hair done. So let's work on the arms. So you take your um, two and a half inch piece for your arms and take the ends and fold it over to make the cuffs on the sleeves. So fold it back towards you like that and glue it down. And glue that side of the cuff down and um, do the same thing on this side. Glue that cuff down. Okay. Then you want to uh, make the bend in the arm. So just bend it a little bit like this. You want to hold it up here. See how much of the arm you want to stick out of this side over here. And how much you want over here. So we're going to stick our little arm out about that far on this side. It's going to be a little, see if it's further on this side, you're not going to put it right in the middle because you want to be able to bend this arm down. So I'm going to stick it right there. Maybe about, let's see how big that is. Oh! Sorry, I bumped the camera. Oops. You still in focus? Okay. Um, that is about a half inch. So you want the half inch to stick out for the arm right there. Put some glue back there. Make sure you put this in the back. Okay, you don't want it in the front because when we make the the gi, it's you're, you're not going to want to see the you're going to see the flesh tone of the neck in the the V right there. Okay, then you can take and bend this arm down, however you want it. Just get a little crease in it and some glue and bend it down like that. Okay, get all your glue strings off. Okay, now let's make um, the shirt, the shirt part. You take your 7 8 inch ribbon, okay, and um, I think I completely messed up the angle of the view here. You take your 7 8 inch ribbon, make sure it's clear. And um, you're going to want to hold it so that the stripes, the grain stripes are going sideways like that. And you want to cut it at an angle, either direction, it doesn't matter, just corner to corner. Cut it at an angle. Alright. 
And y'all, I forgot to put something on that um, list of um, stuff that you're going to need. So I'll get to that here in a minute. I completely forgot about the little pieces right there that make it look like a robe. Okay, so you heat seal those edges. All right. And then this is going to go on... This is going to go like this. Okay, you cut it like this. Now you're just going to want to match the two ends up together down there like that. And that's how it's going to go on the little doll here. But right now, you're going to need to get some more ribbon. And I'm going to go find it and be back, and I will put it on the list here. All right, I'm back, and what we're going to want to add to that list of things you're going to need is a 1 8 inch piece of white. Now, all I have is satin. It could be, it should be grow grain actually, but um, all I have is satin ribbon, so that's just going to have to do. So, 1 8 and you're going to want to line the edges that you just cut and heat sealed with this. Okay, so you just um, line it right along the edge right there. Some glue down there. Oh, kitty, what's wrong? I don't know if y'all could hear that, but my kitty is throwing a fit. Since I lost my Roddy puppy, I got a new Roddy puppy. I actually lost my seven year old Roddy puppy, and I, now I have a um, eight week old. Roddy puppy. Well, he was eight weeks when I got him. Actually, he's um, 12 weeks now. So, you lined that side. Now we're going to do the same thing over here with this one. And the cat does not like the new puppy. Which isn't anything unusual because the cat doesn't like anything. One of the cats. I actually have three. I had four, but I lost sweets. And then just trim it along the edges like that to make the points match up. Okay, now you've got the liner on there. Okay. Now we can put the little clothes together. So you're going to want to put one side over the other, make them match up. They're never going to match up perfect. So you want to make them match up and try them on your little doll. So you're going to want to take this one, put it just a little bit further than the neck, maybe just a touch further than the neck, right there, right, right in line with the arms, and glue it down right there. Some glue on there. Put that one on there. Oops, I got glue where glue ain't supposed to go. Okay. Then overlap this one on the other side. Just a little bit further out than the neck on that side. And don't worry about them over hanging at the bottom. We're going to trim them up to fit here in a minute. Okay. Now that you've got our little shirt on there, then you can just turn her over and trim off any excess so that it matches up. Okay, and you may not want to trim all the way to the edge. Just trim it off a little bit. We're going to heat seal it. Trim off the point. And be sure to fold everything out of the way that you don't want to heat seal. Okay. 
Now she's got a little shirt on. Now you can trim off any excess tan that you have or any excess skin tone that you've got at the bottom. Just trim it off in the back because we're not going to need that. And once again, you can heat seal what we just trimmed. All right. If your shirt's too long, you think your shirt's too long, you can just trim it too. Give it a little trim. Got to make her proportioned right. All right. Now we've got her upper body. Stick on her legs. And we're getting close to being done. We just got to stick on her legs and then work out her arms. So you just take and once again fold over the bottoms to make a cuff on the legs. The legs are your one and a quarter inch pieces. You want to make a small cuff along the bottom of the pants. And the same thing with this one. Try to make them match up. Okay. Then put them, put the one leg close to this side over here. Make it as long or as short as you want it. Find where you want to put the leg. Make her proportioned right. Okay. And glue that down. If you get it in a spot where you want to keep it and don't want to let go, just hang on to it and work your glue behind it. And then take this leg and make it kicked out. Okay, just like this, out to the side. Alright, get it where you want it, maybe just further than the arm. And once you get it where you want it, glue it down. Okay. And then there is your little karate girl. Now we just got to put on the finishing touches with little scraps of um, flesh tone for the arms. So you just take your flesh tone ribbon, get yourself a little scrap. Um, you may want to make it a little bit smaller just so it's armed, so just cut off the edge, heat seal it real good, and then give it a little extra burn time on the ends to round them out to make a hand. There's one. I cut too much off of that one. If they don't match up, just start over again. That's why you really should be using scraps. Here's two. So that would be the hands. Let's just get it back there. Just glue it back in the back so it's sticking out a little bit. Just to make a little hand sticking out. Same thing over here. Okay, and then do the same thing with the feet. You take, once again, the scraps, and on the feet, you probably want to make the foot a little flatter than you did the hand, so it looks more like a foot. Just don't round it as hard, just a little bit on the edges, like that. You can make the foot, in fact, the same size as the the uh, ribbon down there. Maybe trim it just a touch, just a touch off that end. Like maybe just trim that end piece of edging off. Put that foot back there. Okay. Now we need another foot, and I'm sorry that this is 
taking so long. Fast forward if you've got the hang of making feet. Because you got to get to the belt part. Okay. Ouch! Ooh, that one was warm. Don't burn your fingers off. And I'm sure if y'all are real creative, you can figure out how to make better looking feet. But your little doll here is just as cute without perfect feet. There. Okay. If you accidentally glue it, glue it crooked like I did, just work under where there's no glue and cut it off. Okay. Now, to make the belt, the belt is simple. You just take your 1 8 inch piece of whatever color. My little girl's going to be a black belt. And um, tighten a knot. Alright, right in the middle. Tighten a kind of a loose knot. You know, you don't want it. Oh, nope, nope, I'm wrong. I'm doing it wrong. You want to tie the end of it in a knot. Not in the middle. Tie an end in a knot. Right here. Make sure you still have a loop at the bottom. Okay. Tie that in a knot. Okay. Then cut the loop out because that's going to go behind the back. Okay. So when you tie the end in a knot, you're going to have the two pieces hanging down. Find two good pieces that are hanging down to make the the uh, belt part right there. Then lay it on there, right around the waist part with the knot over to one side. All right, and figure out where you want to put it and glue it down. Then fold these pieces around back, make it look like it's wrapping around her back. And if you lightly glue these on, then as the belts change, you can always just pull this color off and put a new colored belt on. You just glue that side, and then take this side under the arm, around the back, trim it down. And glue that back part. Then trim the belt to the right length. I have dull scissors and too much caffeine. Don't forget to heat seal those edges very lightly. And you're done! There is a karate girl. If you want to trim up the um, hair right here, give it a point on the ponytail. You can trim it up, heat seal it, Make it as long or as short as you need it. If you want to glue it to the arm right there, you can. If not, just let it hang loose. Alright, then if you wanted to put this on a clip, I recommend you would line a clip with some white um, grow grain, partially line it, and then glue her right on there in the back. And the measurements I gave you will make it tall enough to completely hide her, hide the clip behind her. So, if you wanted to do that, that's fine. If you wanted to go upside down, either way. Or you could find some cool ribbon and just glue her on the partially lined clip right there. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial and y'all have a great day.